Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a one channel side mixer in Reaper. Now, I'm making this video because a lot of people requested after seeing me do this in other tutorials, and they wanted to know how to do it themselves. And as you'll see, it's quite simple, but it's also very powerful and very useful. Now, the purpose of it is to bridge the gap between the track control panel right here, where we can adjust the volume of our tracks right from here, and a more fine tune adjustment in the mixer. Let's open the mixer. We can make adjustments here as well, but sometimes we just want to change the level of one thing at a time or one track at a time. We don't want to have to jump to the mixer. We want to do it right from this window. And by using this technique, it doesn't waste a lot of room in our track control panel, as you'll see. So here's how you do it. Let's open the mixer. Now, right now, the mixer is docked. It's down over here. Now, if for some reason, yours is floating like this, you're going to want to dock it first. But before we do that, let's right click over here. And there's one preference I want to show you. Scroll view when tracks activated. Make sure this is turned on. This will scroll our tracks into view whenever they're selected, which is very important for this technique. So let's redock it. And now we want to move it to the left side. So grab down here, bring it up and over to the left and see how the left side of the screen has a gray bar. That means the mixer is going to be docked on the left side. So let go. And now our mixer is over here. And we can adjust it right from here. So if you want a big mixer on the left side, we can just leave it like this. But for this technique, we just want to see one track. So let's bring it over. So we just see one track. And now if we click or select on any of these tracks in the track control panel, it's going to scroll to that track. So if I want to adjust the bass right here, just by clicking it, the bass fader is now here, or the guitar, or my vocal. So I can quickly adjust the level of it a bit easier than grabbing it here without having to open the big mixer. Now this works really well with different layouts. So if I go to the options menu, go to layouts, we could change the layout for this mixer. Right now I'm using the session mixer, but we could also use large. And then we could just readjust it right here to once again, only see one fader like this. Then we could jump around and readjust this fader whenever we need to. And like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't take up that much room. It's only this wide. Let's try a different layout. We could use the large sidebar. Again, we could readjust it over here. So we just see one track. Now this one's useful because we have the fader. We can see our plugins and also see our sends. So you can see even more info if you want to. But my personal favorite is the session mixer. Just resize it so we only see one track. Then we can jump around and readjust it. Now to make this process even faster, so we don't have to keep setting it up, use screen sets. So let's move this back to the bottom. See the gray bar on the bottom? Let go. And the mixer goes back to this way. Now let's close it, go to our screen sets, under view, choose screen sets, go to windows, and go to the first one and save it. We'll name this normal. 
Now we'll open the mixer and save this screen set. Name it Mixer. And then we'll reset up our one channel side mixer. Pull it out, bring it to the left. You see the gray bar, let go. Resize it to one channel. Make sure it looks good. Go back to our screen sets and save it here. We'll name it Side Mixer. And we could switch to different screen sets by double clicking, back to normal, back to our mixer, or our side mixer, or we could use the keystrokes, F7, F8, and F9, which can be changed if you want to. So hit F7, goes back to normal, F8 opens the mixer, and F9 opens the side mixer. So we get the best of both worlds. We can readjust things one fader at a time, hide it when we're doing editing, or deal with the whole mixer when we're doing a lot of changes on multiple tracks. So that's pretty much it. That's the one channel side mixer in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.